Hey everybody, this is Tony and welcome back to Commaverse and in this video I'm going to show you some uh, books I picked up from a friend of mine so stick around. Welcome back everybody and what I've got today is a stack of 22 books I picked up from my buddy Greg. He's selling some uh, short boxes of comics and he let me go through them and pick out some books that I might like. I ended up filling up a short box. There's some uh, modern and bronze in here. And uh, y'all let me know what you think. So first up, we've got Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2, number 51. A pretty cool cover. We got Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2, number 52. I love that cover. It's a really good cover. Next up, we've got Amazing Spider-Man 500. That's the first for my collection. I've been wanting to get this for a while. Alright, now we have Amazing Spider-Man number 510. This is part two of the infamous Sins Past storyline. Um, I know a lot of people aren't too crazy about this storyline, given what it's about, but um, I know uh, it was later retconned, or recently it's been retconned in the Nick Spencer run, and I'm going to give it a shot. I got part one on order. We got Amazing Spider-Man 511, 512. Five thirteen, five fourteen, which is the conclusion of the Sins Past story arc. Next up, we've got, excuse me, Amazing Spider-Man six hundred and two. It's a nice cover. We got Amazing Spider-Man six forty. We have Amazing Spider-Man 641. I love that negative space cover. It's a pretty awesome cover. We got Amazing Spider-Man 643. And part one of Going Down Swing. And this is Amazing Spider-Man 797. I've got all the other books, so now I can finally read this. That's a beautiful looking Alex Ross cover. All right, now for some good old Cap. Issue 176. This is a pretty cool one where I believe Cap quits in there, Steve quits in this one, and a few issues later he becomes Nomad. And unfortunately this one's incomplete because it's missing the stamp, value stamp, but I'll still take it. Iconic Daredevil cover. This is Daredevil issue 182. And uh, what can I say? It's a iconic Frank Miller cover. We got Daredevil 183, the very first time the Punisher and Daredevil meet up. Fantastic Four number 125. This was the last published story that Stan Lee did before he became the editor of Marvel Comics. Another Fantastic Four, issue 172. And then I got some more Fantastic Four here, issue 307. Issue 323, featuring Kang the Conqueror. Fantasy Masterpieces number 6. I believe this reprints uh, issue six of the Silver Surfer storyline or uh, series, I mean. And I'm about to get some more of these. And the last book is Uncanny X Men number 161, featuring the origin of Magneto. So, everybody, tell me what you think. Did I do good? And uh, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you next time.